Hello friends. In our earlier video, we spoke about nine different types of out of memory error. In that the primary type, the predominant occurrence of uh, out of memory error is this Java Lang out of memory error Java heap space. Friends, when JVM gets angry at your code, right? When your code begs rogue and it starts creating a lot of objects, JVM gets mad at you and then it throws out of memory error Java heap space. Sometimes when my wife gets angry at me, <laughs> she asks, are you out of your mind, right? In this video, I'll try to show how to solve this out of memory error Java heap space. And if you have any tips to <laughs> escape from your wife, tell me, okay? <laughs> okay, so this type of error, Java heap space happens, out of memory happens, when your young generation and old generation saturates, right? When there's no more room to create new objects in your young generation and old generation, you get to see this out of memory error, Java heap space. Friends, when this happens, how does your memory looks? How does your memory looks, right? Let's look at it. So this is a garbage collection behavior of a very healthy application. Why do I say very healthy application? Look at this, the request is coming, the memory is building up. Now when a full garbage collection event ran, the memory dropped all the way to the bottom, right? Then you can see the request is coming, the memory is building up a full garbage collection event ran and the memory dropped all the way to the bottom. If I try to put a slope connecting all the bottom points, look at this, it is a black dotted arrow. It is going at a zero degrees. It is going at a zero degrees. Now, look at this friends. This is the garbage collection behavior of an application which is suffering from an acute memory leak. You can see the request is coming, the memory is building up now and a full garbage collection and ran, the memory dropped. It kind of dropped to kind of a 22 gig, right? Look as time is progressing, when this full garbage collection went ran, the memory did not drop to this 22 gig. If it had dropped it 22 gig, it should have dropped here. But now it is here. It is like kind of a 31, 32 gig. If I try to put a slope connecting all the bottom points, this is going at like kind of a 15 degrees. Right? It's going to 15 degrees. And today, friends, this slope calculation, people are staying with the quote unquote the cool word machine learning. But actually, the slope is just a high school mathematical formula, which we all learned in our high school. Just a refresher uh, for the formula, it is y is equal to mx plus b, right? So, so now all high school students, they can say they are machine learning engineers, <laughs> okay? Okay, keep parking that. Now, if this application continues to run, when that memory saturates completely, this is how your memory is going to start to look like, right? You're going to see the memory going up and down, up and down after a point. The memory is not coming down at all. Right, you can, but you can see this red triangle, the full garbage collection keep on running. Friends, just when one red triangle, only when one full garbage collection even runs, your CPU is going to be at a 99%. So here it would have been a 99%. After it ran, it would have dropped. The CPU would have come to normal. But now you see here, this red triangle, that the full garbage collection is keep on running. That means the CPU is going to be at a 100%. Friends, if there is a memory leak in your application, your CPU will be at 100%. It is a strong clue for you. If there is a memory leak of, of Java heap space type, then you are going to see the memory to be at a, your CPU to be at 100%. That is a very strong indication. Right. So, when this kind of type of Java heap space happens, let's simulate it. Let's try to run this program, which is going to simulate this problem. So, friends, here is a a program look at this this is a very 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 simple program it is a map manager it has an hash map and here what does it do this thread goes on an infinite loop say while true and it's to this map it is adding that key zero and then large string zero and it's incrementing the counter once you're going to add keys one large string one like this it's going to go on a loop and then it's going to build up the hash map when that hash map goes beyond that xmx limit you are going to get this Java lang out of memory error heap space, right? Now, when you encounter this type of out of memory, how do you go about diagnosing? Friend, the first and the foremost approach is you want to confirm whether you, uh, you want to confirm that by looking at your garbage collection behavior. So you want to see whether this kind of a behavior is happening for your application. How will I study the garbage collection behavior? The garbage collection behavior is best studied by studying the garbage collection log. 
You can enable the garbage collection log on your JVM by passing these arguments. Right? Just pass it. Then the garbage collection log is going to be returned into the disk in the file path, what you have mentioned here. If it's Java 8, it's, this is how you want to pass. If it's Java 9, this is what you want to pass. You can give a file path. Onto this file path, your garbage collection log is going to be returned. And friends, the garbage collection log adds almost zero over it. It's very negligible over it, if at all, if you can measure it. So you can you are welcome to turn it on on all your J production JVMs all the time, right? It, not, it does not add any noticeable overhead. The, in fact, we have published a white paper. We will share it in the description on what is the overhead it's going to add. Right? Okay, so now we have enabled it. Now, you want to take that garbage collection log and then see whether you are seeing this kind of a pattern. So for this, you are welcome to use, there are, there are GC log analysis tools like a GC, EC. You can use this tool to confirm whether you're having a memory leak. See, let, let's know what we will do here's a gcc tool it's an online tool it, it comes in a cloud or you can also have it installed on prem now so now what i will do i will upload a sample gc log of this application right what we ran now i'm going to be uploading this gc log once i uploaded a gc log the tool tells you okay at the top it tells okay this is the memory leak is going on and also if they detect any problems you're going to report it and they also give you recommendations on how to go about solving it but look at this this is the garbage collection pattern. You can see the application is going through fine, but after a point, you can see the GCs are running repeatedly. The memory is shot up, the GCs are running repeatedly, but the memory is not dropping at all. So this is a confirmation that the application is suffering from the memory leak. Now, once you know, okay, you're having a memory leak, then what is the next step is, you want to be capturing the EAP dump from your application. You want to capture the EAP dump from the application. So there are eight different approaches in which you can capture a EAP dump. The link for that, we are going to be sharing it here. So there's an open source script you can run, which is going to capture not only EAP dump, but a 360 degree data, or you can use these tools like a JMAP, which is part of JDK to take a EAP dump. Or you can, to the JVM, you can configure this argument, JVM argument, EAP dump on out of memory error, and EAP dump path. So whenever an out of memory error happens, this EAP dump gets thrown. So you can take this EAP dump. So now once you have taken this EAP dump, what you want to do is you want to use some EAP dump analysis tools to analyze it. So for our demonstration, I will use EAP Hero. So the EAP Hero is a tool which can analyze the EAP dumps and show you the root cause. So EAP dump tends to contain sensitive information, right? Because uh, it's basically a snapshot of memory. It contains social security numbers, VAT numbers, credit card numbers, all that. So the EPRO comes as a uh, cloud and also an on-prem. It's safer to run it on on-prem because the EAP dump tends to have sensitive data. So here I have got um, my EAP dump analysis tool EAP, uh, installed on my local machine. So here it is installed. So now let me upload this application's EAP dump, whatever we ran. So now I'm uploading the EAP dump captured from this application. Capture from the sample application. Now, now I'm uploading it. So the tool uh, process analyzes it uh, based on your EAP dump file size. If it's only very large size, it may take several seconds, sometimes a few minutes. It depends on the size, right? Uh, one tip that I want to give here is when you're trying to analyze your EAP dump, let's say EAP dump file size is four gig. That means for this EPRO tool that you are running locally, this tool you want to allocate the two x the size. If your EAP dump size is uh, 4, 4 gig then you want to give like a 8 gig for this tool to analyze right so once the tool analyzes it generates you this kind of a root cause analysis report it says okay the problem has detected this map manager is occupying like a 99 percentage of memory look at it so it gives me the overview so now friends whenever an out of memory error java eap space happens you want to be going to the largest object section this section displays all what are the largest objects in the memory are, right? So always when a memory leak happens, it just happens because of the top two, three largest objects, right? So here in this case, you can see the map manager is occupying 99.96 percentage of memory. You see, this is that object, the map manager object. This is occupying 99.96 percentage of memory. Now I want to see, okay, I want to see what are the contents of this map manager what data does it contain right so now what you want to do is you want to click on this more 
icon and then say what are the outgoing references outgoing reference means what are the references going away from me what are is going away from me so that i can see what are the children what are the contents of this map manager i'm going to click here i clicked so now here i'm enlarging it so now i am showing this is a map you can see this map is occupying so this uh, data map manager was occupying 491 mb the entire 491 mb is occupied by this ash map you see it's variable it's even visible the my map you see is a ash map you see the variable my map whatever we written in the code is showing up in the in the memory snapshot eep dump and this my map i'm drilling it down as we all know the map internally contains a table you can see this table it has like a million records it has like a 1 million and 81000 records because we were going on an infinite loop and we kept on adding the records the records get added there are like a 1 million and 81000 entries are there so now if i'm going to click any one of the entry i can see the actual raw data which was present here i can see the key like this and here i can see the value as this the raw data so this is very powerful to me what are the data that is leaking i get so now i know what is the data that is leaking now my next step is who, who is holding on to the reference of this map manager who is not letting him to die who is keeping them active in memory so to do that i want to click on the more icon and then i want to see the incoming references that is who are all the references keeping this object active i can click here i can see this map manager is referenced by an another object called as a object 2 and this object 2 is referenced by object i can see like a drill down who is my parent who is holding on to this equipped with this information you can go about troubleshooting and getting the root cause of java lang out of memory error java heap space okay so friends let's take a step back and let me just try to resummarize what we discussed here so the out of memory error java heap space happens first reason could be because of genuinely it could be because of their traffic volume might be grow, growing in your application maybe uh, last month you are processing like a 10 million transactions maybe now it has grown to 15 million transactions so more the traffic you process then the more objects you are going to create that means you are going to saturate your e region pretty quickly then you may get this out of memory error it could be because of increase in the traffic volume or it could be because of a memory leak because of a buggy code in your application it could be either one of those two reasons what are the solutions to that if it is because of the memory leak you want to take a heap dump and then confirm it is because of memory leak then you want to fix the memory leak in the code or if it's happening because of increase in the traffic volume then maybe you can look at increasing the heap size or you can look at commissioning more jvms additional jvms right so what are the artifacts that you need to troubleshoot this java lang out of memory error java heap space first thing is you need a garbage collection log to confirm whether you are having a memory leak right and the second one is you need to take a heap dump to take a this is a snapshot of memory to see how to go about troubleshooting it how to troubleshoot that get to the root cause of memory leak and then the tools what are the tools you need to analyze the gc log you you may want to go with gcec and if you want to analyze the heap dump here are some of the options for you epro eclipse mat j profiler j app right okay friends thank you for watching this video If you want to learn more about Java performance and troubleshooting you are welcome to attend my JVM performance masterclass the link for that is given in the description thank you